Well, unfortunately, I don't have any video footage to back it up, but um, I took a couple of short runs up and down the lane here on this old 1930 BSA 770cc machine. And um, shall we say, I think it might be a little bit tired. Uh, it ran, it didn't seem to produce a hell of a lot of power. Um, the compression doesn't feel very strong at all through the kickstart actually even though it's sort of still quite a sort of effort to kick it over I've compared it and other old British V-twins to kicking your foot through a bucket of treacle it's a strange sort of feeling um, but usually the engines will start willingly enough this one's been a bit difficult to start um, and on occasion reluctant to keep running when I rode it up and down the lane, even the sort of pause throttling off and the pause as you clutch and change from first to second by hand was enough to um, stall the engine or at very best bog it down and it was a bit of a, bit of a struggle to get going again and build up speed. So um, <clears throat> I think my adventures with it on the road or the lane I should say are probably over for some time to come. Um, it's also blown quite a bit of smoke and oil, um, leaked a bit of oil, blown some out. Um, it, it, I think it would probably not be a bad idea to have a look at the condition of the top end of the engine, the uh, cylinder bores, pistons, rings, valves and so on. Now, I don't know. Uh, whether it would be possible to do that or not without removing the engine. It looks to me as though there might be a chance that it might be possible to remove the front cylinder. There's no detachable heads on these, so I suppose you'd have to have the piston near or close to bottom dead centre and you might just about get this one up out of the way. And then whether that would make room to sort of tilt this one forwards and get it away without taking the engine out I've got no idea at this point and I've got no idea at this point whether I'll be doing any work like that or not because uh, obviously that's in the hands of the owner he's been informed and um, I'm waiting to see what he may want to do or not to do with it really but um, I certainly won't be going up the Black Mountain on this one as it is I don't think uh, I'd probably not get very far at all before I would probably run into some sort of trouble and uh, end up stopped at the side of the road. That's my gut feeling. Pity, it's a lovely old bike, but then these things do happen. Old things do get worn. It's obviously been well used and uh, possibly just needs a little bit of a refresh to sort of get things back in shape again to uh, an acceptable degree. So there we are. Um, whether this is the end of the road for me with this bike or not yet, I don't know, but uh, if I uh, find that uh, I'm to carry on, I'm sure we'll be looking at the uh, inside of the top end components of the engine fairly soon.